Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about how the chart of accounts in QuickBooks is changing and it's never going to be the same again. And this is a brilliant thing because we're going to be stopping all of those crazy errors that have happened in the past thanks to a very important and quick update. Stay tuned for this one because this is an update you do not want to miss out on. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBook chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live each and every Monday morning for Ask the Accountant, 8.30 a.m. to come and join us. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about a huge update has arrived, which is going to completely change the way that we actually interact with the chart of accounts in QuickBooks. Now, chart of accounts in QuickBooks is basically the categories that you put things to. Think of telephone, purchases, sundry expenses, subscriptions, and QuickBooks has always given us the opportunity to change those if we need to, and we can add new ones if we want to. But the problem is, historically, when you make changes, it's always gone a little bit pear-shaped. Take a look at this. Imagine I wasn't satisfied with the chart of accounts that I have in front of me. Imagine I wanted to put one called accountancy, because if I start typing the word accountancy here, I don't have an accountancy one at this point in time. Not to worry, I use the new button top right hand corner and it says name here and I put accountancy in. Now you can either do it from here, putting your new name in there, or I press new, maybe I'm in expense at this time kind of thing and I'm putting my expense in and I'm looking at my categories and I type in the word accountancy and it's not there. But it does say add new accountancy. So let's press add new. The word accountancy comes up here. So sounds good, doesn't it? but never ever just post from here because at the moment the account type and detail type are set at cash at bank. And if you would ask, add accountancy as cash at bank, you're not adding it correctly. Now, if I was to save and close at this, let's just see what happens. Let's say I put a thousand pounds for there in my accountancy. I'm just putting no VAT for this one and I'm gonna do save and close. So I've added accountancy. Now, in my eyes, if I go to reports, for example, profit and loss, I should be seeing a brand new, I'm just going to do all dates for this one, just to make things easier. All dates, I should see a thousand pound here for accountancy, but I don't. Why don't I? Because if I go back, look at my balance sheet, then it's actually showing randomly if I do all dates again. As a cash at bank in hand under accounting, completely the wrong place. It was always a danger of adding it via the old chart of accounts because you weren't given or it was defaulted to cash account. And the amount of time as an accountant for my clients looking through and I come to this screen here and all of the new accounts are put in as cash accounts at the top here of accountancy and all sorts going through there. Yeah, it happened a lot. And it was a little bit frustrating, right? Because I don't really feel like anyone's done anything wrong here. They've just pressed the new button and gone through there. But the new update changes this completely. Let's have a look at the new update. So from the new update now, if I press the new button, instead of I get in the screen over here in the middle, I get this new right hand side and the new right hand side gives me new options. From here, I can type the word accountancy in there, but it doesn't default automatically to cash at bank now. Now, it gives me an opportunity to pick what I want. So I'm going to pick expenses, that makes sense. Gives me a chance to choose the detail type as well, and I can choose that if I need to. Still got the same functionality of doing a sub account. If you've never used sub accounts before, they are amazing. Highly, highly recommend it. I'll show you what a sub account looks like in a moment. Choose my default VAT code, choose my description. So in this case, I'm going to put 20% VAT. And then what I really like about it is it shows you where that's going to go. So the preview is that it's going to go under my profit and loss, which I want. It's going to go and put it at the top there because it's accounted then. It's going to give me all the other ones I have available as well so I can see if I'm putting it in the right place. Love, love, love that. And if I was to make this a sub account, I could choose what I want it as sub account of. So, you know, it's wrong, but let's put it against advertising. And it shows me here how that's going to be split up. So now, County becomes an, an, a sub account of advertiser and I can amend it if I need to going forward. So I love this new feature. So this new way gives us a chance. And if we were to choose something like a balance sheet as well, down the bottom here, it shows what it is. So let's say it's a new cash on hand. Let's say that it has actually cash on bank. 
You can even tell you as well if you've already got that account there and it's going to tell you off and tell you don't do it. So let's do cash, do petty cash instead. And now it's going to show you how that's going to sit with the rest of them there um, and still gives you the chance to put an open balance in, still puts all the same functionality you've had before, but in a much better layout than we've ever had. And this will 100% prevent people from accidentally putting as a default cash at bank and then just put them in there, not wondering why they don't turn up on their profit and loss. So it's a small change, but I think this is a huge change because it's going to stop all of those people accidentally putting it as cash in the bank. And I feel like giving us this bit of information down the bottom here where it's talking about balance sheets, putting that information there is just going to be really, really powerful for us. So what do you think? Do you prefer the old way where we've got this mid bit in the middle or do we prefer the new way? The only small thing we lose out on is this flavor text area here where it's kind of giving you a bit of information on what that relates to, which is a shame. Um, but apart from that, we kind of have every other functionality we have with the added functionality of letting us know what it looks like and what it will be like when we start putting that transaction in there. So, what do you think? Use the comment section below to let us know if there's anything you would like to see here, uh, anything extra. Personally, I'd love this to also connect more so with our ProTax functionality so that we can make sure that we've got those set up here as well. Because I think then once you've set the ProTax up, everything's gonna be in a better position. Um, but let us know, let us know in the comments. Make sure you give a like, subscribe and all that sort of stuff to make sure that you don't miss out on anything else to do with the world of QuickBooks. Some really good updates. This is a small one, but some really big ones coming soon. And I can't wait to get into them a little bit more, deep dive into them, find out exactly how they're going to help for you. So the new account section has been set up. It should be going live pretty soon to all accounts. If you haven't got yours yet, it'll be there soon. But let us know in the comments what you think. My name is Bernard Patrick. As always, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.